Hello everybody, my name is Bing Bing Sun, and today I will talk about the ML Misfit, learning a robust function for four way four emerging using machine learning. The crossover is Tarek Al Khalifa, and both of us coming from King Abdullah University of Science and Technology. Cyclescaping is a critical issue in four way four emerging. Conventional solution for solving it using rather a highly accurate deletion model or actual low frequency. This approach has limitations in certain aspects, while a cost-effective solution would by design a more robust misfunction to allow the model can converge from a relatively far away model. There are many lower misfunctions proposed today, such as a matching filter-based misfit or the optimal transport misfunction. Unlike the local comparison provided by the conventional L2 norm, all those advanced misfunctions try to compare the predict and measure data in a more global way. We have a quick review of those misfunctions. For example, the matching filter based misfunctions. It will compute the matching filter first by deconvolution of predict and measure the data. The idea is that when the predict and measure data is the same, this resulting matching filter should be a DRQ data functions. Otherwise, we can use the penalty to penalize the energy away from the zero legs to formulate a misfunctions. The adaptive waveform inversion is actually a matching filter based approach, but its penalty is a normalized one. Another popular approach for misfunction used in 4 v 4 inversion is the optimal transport based approach. Optimal transport method would transform the seismic data to a probability distribution first, and then use the western distance introduced by the optimal transport theory to have a more robust convex measurement between the predict and the measure data. The western distance given by the optimal transport theory shows good convexity properties regarding shift probability distribution. This makes it a good candidate for a robust misfunctions. However, to use optimal transport in real applications, we face one critical issue. The data to be compared, such as predict P and measure the data D, should be a probability distribution in mathematics. That means it must be positive. However, in reality, the seismic signals are oscillating signals. That tends to be an obstacle to apply the optimal transport method for real applications. Different methods for predicted condition of the seismic data to be a probability distribution need to be carefully designed. Recently, we proposed a method which combines the optimal transport and the matching filter based approach. We would compute the matching filter first and then use optimal transport to measure the distance distance between the resulting matching filter and the target, that is, the Dirac data function. Our new misfunction provides a united framework for design misfunction for FWI, and AWI is actually. Uh, the adaptive waveform inversion actually is a special case of our approach. It can also mitigate the difficulty of precondition the seismic data to probability in the conventional optimal transport approach. That is, because our the resulting matching filter is the ideal candidate for being preconditioned to be a probability distribution. As the most valuable information that the matching filter contains is that how the energy distributed around the non-zero time lag, which can be explained as one kind of distribution easily. Now, AI becomes rather powerful, and in many areas, it shows great success. And this demonstrates that the computation power can be transferred into intelligence with advanced algorithms. The human design misfunctions can be good in one aspect while not ideal in other aspects. 
Besides, advocating an improvement of those many designed misfunctions requires considerable mathematical and physical knowledge, as well as experience. Thus, concerning that the AI is such powerful, we would like to ask us a question. Why not let a machine to learn a robust misfunction for FWI? And this is related to the main topic of this talk. We propose to learn a misfunction for FWI using machine learning. And we give it the name ML Misfit. Specifically, we use machine learning, the technology of called mental learning, training such misfunction. For training the ML misfit, we need at first to decide the new letter architecture. We can just define as a black box with input one trace of predict and a measure the date and then output a scatter value. And this is just like conventional manually designed misfunctions and all like this. But this black box approach will reduce the accuracy and the training efficiency. To resolve this, we specifically define the architecture of the ML misfit in a form which mimics the optimal transport matching filter misfunctions. That is, we try to make it to be a pseudo metric, means that it always greater than zero, and when the input predict date resembles measure date, it outputs zero value as well. And it also admits symmetry regarding the predict date and the measure the data. For the dual letter phi is in the ML misfit. It can be 1D convolutional dual network plus fifth row dual network. Specifically for training the ML misfit, we adopt the method of mental learning. Unlike conventional supervised learning that just learn a mapping function, mental learning learns the prior knowledge for better solve the problem. For example, in FWI, we can learn a misfunction based on mental learning. Below, we show the flow for training the neural network. Given a initial model, we model the predict date and use the ML misfit to measure the discrepancy between the predict date and the measure the data. And then we can put a joint source, which as your human designed misfunction, it is a derivative of the misfunction with respect to the predict data. And then we back propagate it to update the model. We should note that a joint source depends on the neural network parameter theta of the ML misfit. So the updated model M theta will also depend on the dual lateral parameter theta of the ML misfit. To train and to evaluate the performance of current ML misfit, an actual loss, which is adopted to train the dual network. Here, we use L2 norm to compare the inverted model and the true model. And we call this such kind of loss the mental loss. And by back pocket residue along the thread curve, we can update in the ML misfit parameters. As we can see in the mental training of the ML misfit, there is actually two coupled optimization problems. The inner part of the optimization problems is actually the convention after by just the way the misfunction is replaced with the ML misfit. Why the auto loop? is the optimization used to train the ML misfit. Using this hyper optimization problems, we can train the ML misfit. To evaluate our method, we first using a toy example, which can be considered as the mini FWI. The date is generated by time shift and recall variable, and the travel time shift tall is the inversion parameter. 
For example, as shown in the figure, the black and the blue is predict and measure the date respectively. And the mental loop for training is defined as L2 norm between the inverted and the true travel time shift. To training, we, will, we need to generate the data. Here, the date is generated with random travel time shift as well as random mean frequency for a recall wavelength. Figure 1 shows the loops of training over average. We can see that both the training and testing loops drop to a rather small values, indicating the successful training of the ML misfit. Figure 2 shows that the selected trial time shift in volume result as ML misfit from the testing dataset. We can see that the difference between the true and the initial can be very much and can be highly cyclostic. But the ML method can still converge to the correct one with high accuracy. In Figure 3, we plot the misfit value related to different trial time shift difference. We can see that the obvious local minimum given by L2 norm, where the ML misfit shows good convexity across different frequencies. Here, would apply to our method to a more realistic model, for example, the Mamoshi models. We can see the model is rather complex, and the coming shoot gallery shows here is not a merely single shift event anymore, as that in the toy example. So this Mamoshi model can be an ideal example to test our ML misfit. Of course, to train the new network, we need to generate data that show similar features with that of the Mamushi model. So it can't be just a, a single shift event anymore. Here is our preparation for the date for training. We will generate random layered models and use highly smooth initial velocity because we want to mitigate the cycle skipping issues, so a highly smooth initial velocity will, will drive the machine to learn a misfunction that can be cycle skipping free. And also with that offset ring similar to the mamush. All this is set up to guarantee that the generated data is similar to that of the data of the mamush, which we will apply our method later on after the training. Below shows the results using the ML misfit without training. That is, with the weight is random initialized. We can see the initial ML misfit without training cannot purple updating the models. The figures at the, at the upper right shows the training process. We can see the residues drops considerably when the training proceeds. And this shows the success of our training. Here shows the results after training. We can see that after training, it does learn to proper updating the models. Look into the details, someone can be very good, especially for a shallow path. That means even Using such random layered models, we can still reliably train our ML misfit. After training, we apply it to the Mamushi model. And the initial velocity model is set to be a layered VZ. We can see that ML misfit shows more robust updating and it can mitigate the cycle skipping issue successfully. For example, as a place marked with the red circle. At the same place, the L2 norm shows obvious cycle skipping features. Thus, we can see that our ML misfit trained on a randomly nailed models can, can evolve for the Mamoshi model successfully 
And this demonstrates the, the, the practical parts of our method when applied to your real, real data. Finally, we conclude that we use the pseudo metric, which mimics the optimal transport matching filter. We also use mental naming for training the ML misfit. And we also propose efficient training strategy based on layered 2D models. And we thank for your attention.